Hello. Hello. <laughs> so uh, so we're reviewing Intercity the beekeeper oh, today. The beekeeper. Uh, David, right. Ayer's, David Ayer's movie. Uh, David Ayer is the director of Suicide Squad, Sabotage, etc. Uh, he, by the way, is a ex-naval uh, captain himself. He's worked on submarines. And this is his, I think, first movie with Jason Statham. Uh, it's a movie where something wrong happens to Jason Statham and uh, someone he knows. And he is obviously an ex-army um, guy. We don't know the exact origins at first. And you know how when you try to do one small wrong in a sense and then the scope keeps getting bigger i.e the trail keeps leading you down the rabbit hole to something or the other those kind of movies and here it just keeps going higher and higher and higher and he just keeps beating people up and more and more characters come in so jason statham is joined by emma raver lampman she's he's joined by jeremy irons he's there's josh hutchison who may you may remember from the hunger games who's still he's more grown up but still as spoiled as ever and uh Gemma redgrave uh i'm missing i thought mini driver in a small role so yeah lots of people lots of interesting thoughts over to you ritu on what you thought of the movie <laughs> I just simply love Jason Statham. <laughs> so, and I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. It was, I mean, I didn't even look left, right, or on my phone. It was so engaging. Uh, I loved the action. I loved the plot. Okay. I mean, I know that there's somebody he knows and for the first time he felt cared for. And so he just, you know, for their sake, how he goes about doing what he does. Right. And the premise, the beekeeper, I thought was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, so we find out there is a reason why he kind of calls himself that later. But again, the, the point being, like I said, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And after a while, for, for me, it just stopped making sense. Because oh, you just, I think it can go up to a point here it went according to me beyond a certain point where you know this is just not going to be possible and it, it somehow the killing never stops uh, so for me there was a disconnect after a point and uh, yeah not in fact even the other bit is not even feasible in terms of all the uh, money stealing and all of that again it's possible up to a point and beyond which you do get noticed. So uh, I'm I'm a bit, uh, I was a bit taken aback. Even little personal details in the sense of, obviously the person who he was attached to, something bad happens to her. I mean, she would talk to someone, especially if we later find out she was connected to X, Y, Z, you would talk. And little personal touches, little human details, I think just, went awry in the face of the mayhem that is about to come, vengeance being loose. So. I get that. And then again, we apply logic and then she would have called, etc. But then, you know, there's a, there's a, a, a trigger. There's a point uh, beyond which or what causes, uh, you know, in everybody's life. So then I stop applying logic there. <laughs> I know where you lost the plot with yeah. Jason, Jason doing what he was doing. I know the point. I can very well imagine where you kind of lost it. So I understand that. But then, you know, after the movie progresses to a certain part, you you stop thinking the logic. You just enjoy the ride, the music, him, his tactics, his, you know, the fights, the this, the that. So that kind of pumps you up. So you stop looking for those loopholes. And the fact that you said that somebody that he cared for, that I thought was a trigger. I mean, you know, it it just is. <laughs> they could have, you know, called up, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I get where you're coming from. But, well, it happens. Okay. No, no, for some I'm, people. I'm glad, I'm, glad you enjoyed, <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the ride so much. 
So <laughs> at the count of uh, three, do you want to raise up your hands and do your rating for this? At the count of three. Uh, you want to do the hand thing or should I just say it? Hand thing. One, two, <laughs> three. Uh, can you see? Eight. That's eight. Yeah. <laughs> eight for Ritu, five for me. Uh, this is one which I think for me can play in the background at some point in time when it's on streaming. Uh, I I mean, I could never imagine going for a repeat show of this is probably why I'm here. You Could you go for a repeat? I would see it on an OTT platform again, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. this is, it, it, I mean, a very similar plot if you can get to movies like Taken or Equalizer, those series, right? Where it's one person, cause happens, and then the rabbit hole, like I said, keeps getting broader and broader. The uh, trail keeps yes. going higher and higher. This is exactly that now starring the lovely Jason Statham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Let yes. us know what you think, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.